You are listening to the Your Empty Nest Coach Podcast with Coach Christine, episode number 55, fan favorite of 2019, leveling up in life, Donkey Kong, your life. Hi, I am excited to share with you that I have a new membership program, GPS Execs. This will allow you to become an executive producer of my podcast. I am not kidding. I'm so excited about this. You will become my inner circle. You'll get bragging rights. You'll have two Zoom calls available with me every month that you are a GPS exec. We'll do periodic book clubs, periodic giveaways just for my GPS execs. So excited. If you're interested, go to my website, youremptinesscoach.com and click on executive producers. All the information's there. Thanks. See you there. This podcast is for you, a mother who years ago walked away from a career to raise your child. Sure, you've been busy volunteering, carpools, maybe part-time work, and taking care of everyone. But your main gig? That has been your child. Now that they are in their later years of high school, the empty nest looms ahead for you, and it is freaking you out. I've been there, and I get it. Together, we'll turn our freaking out energy into freaking awesome energy. Hi, my future empty nest friend. Here we are at the close of 2019. So much has happened. It feels as if it flew by, but also feels as if it were 10 years long. Maybe that is what presence work does to you. I don't know. Kind of like it, though. I am in the midst of sharing episodes that have resonated well with you. You being my audience of amazing listeners. Funny enough, they are the episodes that all have the commonality where in my head they began in one place and then ended up somewhere else entirely. As some of my friends would say, I was in the flow when they were created. I did feel more of a vessel for the ideas than anything else, and it has been an honor to watch them enter the world. Here's how this episode will work. First, I'm going to share with you a comment from one of my listeners that was shared with me about this episode. Then I will share the primary content of the episode, and finally, I will wrap up by sharing with you any new thoughts that I may have about the topic now that some time has passed. This is my final fan favorite episode of 2019. It is number 35, Leveling Up in Life, Donkey Kong Your Life. Here's what one of my listeners said about this episode. Listen to your podcast. Really great stuff. It made me realize the importance of being the gamer that works through levels and gains momentum each time, eventually leveling up. I love the thought that even if you are just jumping over one barrel at a time, that is more progress than you made the day before. I think as humans, we want to see the big picture right now. This makes me realize the importance of the simmer. Thank you. Well, you are welcome. (laughs) And here is the original content. Donkey Kong. One of my favorite games as a child was the original Donkey Kong. I know I am showing my age and my geekiness here, but my love for it was real. (laughs) If you never played Donkey Kong, I'll have a link to a video of it in my show notes. Indulge me for a minute. Donkey Kong is a classic arcade game in which you, as Mario, climb platforms using ladders to reach your princess at the top. Now, if you look at the 1980-something version, phew, it is pretty basic. But I can't tell you how excited I was to play this game. The barrels roll toward you. Maybe you're able to jump over a barrel or two successfully. And then you make it up a ladder. And then you might be able to grab a hammer and destroy some barrels. Maybe you make it to the third platform when a barrel hits you. No, that was not the sound you hear. And you are sent back to the start of that level. So at this moment, there are two types of gamers. There are the gamers who freak out, throw the controller and need to shout, get anxious or put on a show of frustration. And then there are the gamers that realize that the last time in the level, they notice something new, something that might help this next time. Which gamer is more fun to be around? And that second gamer goes back in knowing they might make it to the top this time. Or maybe they'll learn something new again. Or maybe they'll find that their brilliant idea from last time didn't work. That's okay. They won't do that again. So they work through the level again and again and again until they make it to the top. Or decide they got all they want out of the game. Each time they start over, a little bit more of that level moves faster for them because they get it. They understand more. And they've learned more. 
Let's say the gamer is you, and this time you figured out the first three jumps needed, and you now have that timed perfectly. Maybe the next run you figure out that it makes sense to pause a bit behind a ladder and wait out a particular barrel. Or maybe you realize that you can actually go down the ladder and it might make the best option for that moment. And what happens when you finally reach the princess? You know it. You get another level. Do you know me well enough yet to know where I'm going with this? Yes, life is all about leveling up. Sure, we have our amazing moments where we reach the top, and those moments are worth celebrating for sure. But even more important is all that leveling up you are doing to get to the end game. That is where you learn about life, and more importantly, where you have the opportunity to learn about you. Each time you maneuver a little bit better, you become more confident, more sure of your path, and the most important part is that you keep going. Next time you are working on sitting in the simmer of your life, I challenge you to see where you have leveled up recently. Maybe you figured out how to jump over one barrel. That is one barrel you didn't know how to jump over last month. If you can't find anything, maybe it's time for you to push the start button and give something a try. You can always change the game you're playing, but life is so much more fun when you are in the game. And remember that being sent back to the beginning is to be expected. Check your thoughts when this happens, and make sure you choose thoughts that make you feel amazing, because you are worth it 100%. You may not reach your goal tomorrow. But you will learn a heck of a lot about yourself along the way, and you may apply this to anything—weight loss, your life in general, to going through my program, or anyone's class or program, to your thoughts, to you learning something new. It is endless. Next time you feel that the progress you are making in something appears to come to a halt, I want you to challenge your thoughts at that moment, because you are wherever you are. And you will level up faster next time around, and the re-entry and leveling up will go smoother with kind thoughts to yourself. Take the drama away as you play the game, and it makes all things run much easier. And I've got to say, life is a lot more fun because now you know when that next barrel is heading your way. This time, you are prepared for it and ready for it. You may even make the leap with a smile or jazz hands. Why not? Yes, there are times when it might feel like you take two steps forward and three back. Just remember that the two steps forward already have some footprints to follow. So let your body reset for the next level again and jump right back in. I did promise you that I would tell you how I've noticed this in my life recently, and here is one example. It has to do with getting this weekly podcast out to you. I am unbelievably thankful for my tremendous team member who does my editing, transcription, and a few other things. And I have a checklist that I put a lot of time into creating. I mean, a lot. <laughs> This checklist is huge, and it used to overwhelm me. I still look at it as I begin to assemble an episode and have a momentary thought that is something like, "Oh, there's no way this is going to get out." But That is a thought I change to something more along the lines of, "Okay, I've now done thirty or so episodes. This episode will get out just like the others, and it will be great. Such a great thought!" And every time I wrap up another episode, everything runs faster. So much so that I now feel like I'm missing things. I'm not, and I know this because of my crazy detailed checklist. But I'm leveling up so fast, it feels like I'm cheating. Do you get this? And then that is where imposter syndrome kicks in, and I've got more thoughts to deal with. <laughs> We are never done with this thought work, but I have to say, each time it gets easier, and I level up faster. Isn't it great that that happens? Well, until we reach a new level. I'm back. While I am well pleased with the content in this episode. What I have found supremely interesting is how well this episode fits in with the simmering episode, the GPS episode, and thought boxes. By the time I got to this episode, my integrator Beth said, "Here she goes again," and she didn't mean it as a bad thing. 
I know when she says that, then the flow is there on that episode's content, and it makes me smile. If you are ready to begin the journey to find future you and use her as your GPS, definitely sign up for my free program, The Empty Nest, A Guide to Uncovering My Future. Episode 13 covers the high-level concepts of that program if you would like to check it out. To dive deep into the concepts, take my free program as I provide videos and worksheets to assist you on your journey. The questions I have for you in this episode are, how has 2019 been for you? And what are you most looking forward to in 2020? I invite you to fly on over to our Facebook group to share your answers to these questions with our amazing flock. Our name is Green Popsicle Sticks. Want to know why? Listen to episode number 17 or head to my website, youremptinesscoach.com forward slash community for links to join our flock. I know the adjustment to not having your kiddos at home full time isn't always easy, but it sure can be a ton more fun with a flock of friends. We look forward to seeing you there. Psst, my empty nest friend. Did you know that I have an online program, The Empty Nest, First Steps Toward Success? I now also offer GPS reset weekend retreats, unplugged and charged up, and that I am available for speaking engagements. For all the fun details, visit my website or see this episode's full show notes. I am thrilled to travel and I can't wait to meet you. As always, I provide content to make you think, my empty nest friend. My hope is that I am able to provide you with thoughts that positively impact your life. You'll find the show notes for this and every episode on my website. My next episode's title is Why Resolutions Don't Work. If you aren't driving and you are able to do a screenshot of this episode and share it on social media to help others find it, that would be super helpful. Be sure to tag me at Empty Nest Coach so I may properly thank you. Oh, and if you like this episode, take a moment to subscribe to this podcast. It is free. And this brings me to the close of my first year of podcasting. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I wish you the happiest of New Year's and that you and your family will enjoy the simmer level up and reach new heights that you didn't think were possible. I'm peacefully excited for all that 2020 will bring to you and your family. Remember, you are amazing. You'll find... Stop, Mike.